So at the drill press, I've got a, uh, it looks like it's a 10 millimeter um, milling bit for flute. And that's just going to go in here. In a previous video, I had showed my uh, pen blank drilling jig. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to open this up to hold this in place. After I bolt that down. And then I'm just going to use that to to hollow that out and make it uh, get it to the right thickness. Okay, I leveled off the surface already off camera to see if it would work and it seems to work pretty good. And you can see how this seems to work out okay. So I'm just gonna put that back in the middle and adjust the depth. Well, it thinned out quite a bit. That'll take some practicing. So this is the inside of the shell. You see the outside, I've got a couple of pencil lines right there. Roughly you can see it. But on the inside you can see a little bit better. So I'm just going to hog those out on the bandsaw. Oops. So this is the inside of the 50 caliber cartridge. You can see the lead lines that I have marked right there. I'm going to cut those off on the bandsaw. From the outside you can barely see it, but from the inside is the way I'm going to cut it because I'm going to cut it uh, the outside down so that it rides across the, the bandsaw. You'll see what I mean. So there's my cut right there. I'm just gonna It's a little uneven, but it's fine. I'm going to true it up when I get it in the jig. Okay, so you see this the screw holes here and this screw hole. This is made from the jig uh, that I traced from the outside of the shell cartridge. And this actually goes over the outside of it like that. And when you drill the holes from the outside, it lines up to the inside of these holes. The inside here matches up to the outside here. So it's kind of an illusion. Let me explain it like this. So here's the 50 caliber cartridge. These things are pretty, pretty awesome. 
I mean, uh, if you haven't used, cut one of these down before, and you can see these are dummy rounds with the holes drilled in them. These are about close to five and a half inches long. That'll do some damage. So anyway, this is a part of a 50 caliber cartridge and it's been expanded on the outside so that that will fit over that like that. And then this is my pattern for the next one that I cut apart. So, and when I drill, when I drill these holes, I don't use a regular drill bit, I use a center point bit because this is very stable, it doesn't walk on you. So that gives me a precise hole inside this jig when I drill into here. So back to this, you'll notice I have an extra hole here. That's because this is longer than is necessary. I will cut this off after the fact. So this is just to hold this in place. It's just a makeshift jig making do with what I have. So I'll just screw these in and then we'll put it in the drill press. Okay, so the piece is attached. I only got the top screw and the end screw. The bottom one wasn't really necessary. That's pretty secure. So that locks in there. And I'm just gonna have to eyeball it till I get to the end um, to mark that and I'm right about the cut line to where I need to be my drill press is set for 3100 rpm now I know that it's probably not the best idea with a Jacobs chuck to do this but I've tried it already and didn't have any issues with some other parts and other stuff but the way I see it, it should be okay for light stuff because they made these four drill presses. So whether you agree with that or not, that's up to you. that up about a millimeter Turned out good. Okay, taking that off, it's a nice straight cut across right there. It'll look better once I, I remove it from the jig. You can understand what I'm doing better. And I cut a little bit more over here because I left that really heavy. So once I line that up with the back end, it'll look a lot better. Okay, the jig is back in, the part's been reversed, and it looks like it's about the same height as the original cut, maybe even a little lower. So I'll have to take a cleanup pass and then flip it over again and see where we are.
So if I look at my clip, see how that is? This right here is much thinner than what I have going on over here. This is really thick. So I could take off easily another uh, millimeter or so off of that. Just so if I can get that a little bit closer. We got that sunlight coming in though. It looks it's terrible this time of day. I'll just have to do that off camera. Okay, right here I just took a real simple practice path just to see where that would hit and I'm hitting pretty good. I just basically squared off that end first and now I'm just going to advance it so that it lines up and we'll just take the top of that right off. Should have screwed that backside in, but I didn't. Oh well, it's okay. Okay, now that's back in and reversed. I'm just gonna re repeat the same process. I'm gonna take a small cut on the end just to square it up. Just cut this end off on the bandsaw and then we can start shaping. Okay, that's cut off on the bandsaw. Now it's just shaping with the Dremel.